Ted here again. I've got most of the engine out of the way here. You need exchanger. Again, this is a Gen 5 4353 engine, and I wanted to show you part of antifreeze changing. When you're changing the antifreeze, the plug's over on the port side of the engine. There's a rubber cover and a plug, and then one right above the starter on the other side. There's a plug over there to drain the block. And then the FIAC system, there's a plug here underneath. It's nice I've got most of the stuff out of the way to show you this. This is a 21 millimeter socket that fits that, okay? So that is uh, very shallow. It does not have a lot of meat on it. So you definitely wanna use a good snap-on socket or you wanna grind this face a little bit flush. All sockets are recessed, so it's easy to put them on. So if you've got an older socket that's rounded, I suggest you put this on a grinder and grind that surface off so it's flush, it's flat. Uh, I've done that on a lot of sockets over the years because people have rounded them off. So if this is the first time you're taking this off, you should be able to reach in here, even with the heat exchanger, with maybe a six inch extension, okay? And then pop that fitting loose. First time this has been off, so there's probably a little bit of antifreeze in here. aluminum so it's an aluminum plug so even the more important for you to make sure your socket is gonna fit this later models it is thicker they figured that out because people were rounding this off but to drain this fiat of all the antifreeze that's in there you need to take that plug out and then put it back in make sure you get another o-ring change that o-ring too don't forget okay so until next time I'll talk to you later